Now, freight rail has declined to alarming levels in the country, and in response to this crisis, President Cyril Ramaphosa unveiled plans last year to involve the private sector. But things have been moving at a snail's pace. Approval of the national rail policy has been pending for 14 years. And in the meantime, transported freight plummeted from a staggering 230 million tons in 2017 to a dismal 179 million tons in 2021. And to get her view, we have Misela Ndlapo, CEO of the African Rail Industry Association, joining us this morning. Thank you so much for your time, CEO. Uh, and just give us what the African Rail Industry Association does uh, before we get into the nitty-gritties of the failed freight rail infrastructure. The African Rail, and good morning, the African Rail Industry Association, we are an independent body. We represent the interest of our members, including original equipment manufacturers with our multinationals, um, private operators, which uh, most likely will, will definitely benefit from the third party access that has been uh, part of the, of the rail policy. And uh, we advocate on behalf of our members and make sure that we define the future of railways in South Africa and we revitalize, transform the sector. And your engagement, I mean, which has also led to the approval of the national rail policy, still pending for 14 years. You know, we, we, we are told that we are a country of uh, policies that are second to none in the world, but it's always the implementation that is a challenge. Why do you think this has been at such a snail space? I, I think um, government working with private sector is quite key. And um, even with the rail policy that was uh, approved last year by, by cabinet. And um, we may say a lot of things about, uh, at the time, Minister Mbalula, but he, mo he moved very, very fast from a policy that was uh, hanging around from 2020, 20, uh, I mean, 2017. So we were able to, to work hard at very late at night to ensure that um, that consultation, that working with business is quite key. Government will do the planning and will assist government in the implementation. So for, 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 for that, that, that marriage is it's, uh, it's quite important. Hmm. Yes. But, but see, also sometimes you know, we might be seen as being pessimistic and seeing the glass half full. There's so much more that we can celebrate that is working within the South African infrastructure. But the point is, the key nerve center when it comes to freight rail in particular, impacts on the exports, imports, uh, G GDP, just the potential of the economy to grow. Look, uh, logistics are the backbone of the economy. And um, if the mining, ha mining companies are not able to, to export, because of the infrastructure have not been uh, maintained properly for, for quite a while. It does have a, an, an, an impact. And I think it's important that um, we, we as CEOs, when you step into organization, uh, you know what you're getting into. And you can't blame the previous guy that left. So you, you, from day one, you take responsibility of the institution and make sure that you make sure that it grows or at the least you keep it at, at, at those levels. So the, the, the impact on the economy, uh, jobs, uh, po poverty, um, uh, the, 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 the small black owned businesses that have disappeared because of uh, the, the troubles that we having in the rail industry. But it's not, all, it's not lost because with the policy, it introduces private sector into the, 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 the market and ensure that uh, there are different players and uh, not only a monopoly. So a monopoly will be done away with and make sure that the reform does take place. And the monopoly you're referring to would be state entity as in Transnet? Yes, yeah, mm. absolutely. 
Uh, Transnet is the monopoly because where we come from as a, a country. And um, it, it's, it's quite important that if you want to grow the economy, if you want to export, if you want to revitalize your manufacturing sector, if you want to take advantage of the CFTA, if you want to connect the continent, if you want South Africa to lead the continent into uh, 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 increase the intra-Africa trade, railways are important. They are the only only uh, uh, mode of transport that is cheaper and will connect the continent and increase intra-Africa trade. All right, before we look into opportunities for small, medium enterprises and the issue around transformation, we're just looking at volumes here. Transported freight plummeting from 230 million in 2017, that's 230 million tons, to a, a, a mega 179 million tons in 2021. This is not necessarily a sign of growth. This indicates a decline in the volumes that are being transported by freight. What is uh, or what can be attributed to this? Look, um, I, th I think um, uh, having the right people in the in the right space. Um, the, currently, there's no chief operating um, officer from uh, a group group level, and um, that you can attribute to to that. Having engineers, the railway people running the railways is important. It can be Ombit, it can be Jebulani, I don't care, as long as we make sure that the freight business does work because it has such a huge impact. And unlike ESCOM, ESCOM you see the lights go off. The, the railways, you, you, you can't see it immediately, but you would go to a car dealership to have a certain part, you can't find it because it's stuck at the, at, at the port. So the railways are important. The railways are a lifeblood of the, of the country. We cannot survive without the railways. And it is no longer a transnet pro, uh, problem. It is a South African problem. It's a crisis that we are addressing through the presidency, so, through Operation Vulindela. So we are working in the background to resolve this. It's not up to transnet, but the South African problem in the South African crisis. Before we let you go, see, oh, very briefly, are the playing fields leveled now when it comes to transformation and uh, creating an environment that is conducive for small, medium enterprises, particularly black? It will be difficult if you have uh, two state-owned entities that do not procure for, for a while. It, it kills business. I mean, the little gains that we have had, women-owned uh, uh, companies, they have disappeared. So. How the states run those entities is important for transformation. If transformation does not take place, we need to understand why it doesn't take place. In, in this instance, we have had Prasa with, uh, I mean, Tenstyle, a college of uh, CEOs. Uh, the leadership uh, is, is important to know what they, 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 are, they are doing. But I just want to, 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 to perhaps close off with that. Um, today and, and tomorrow is, is uh, Africa Rail, and um, if you want to make to know if it, Africa Rail, if the rail is being um, uh, revitalized, come to the Sentin Convention Centre and see that companies are serious about getting tracks, the trains running and, and, and ensuring that we revive the economy. Okay, so the program starts today at the Santon Convention Center from what time? Um, from, I think, from nine, uh, um, so it's, it's two days, and it's the largest one on the continent. So we're expecting, I'm expecting a, 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 the Deputy Minister of Transport of, of uh, Ethiopia, so as the entire continent, uh, uh, gathering in South Africa, saying that South Africa lead us into this revitalization and connecting the continent. See, oh, we're going to leave it there. And thank you indeed. A gathering of thought leaders at the Centon Convention Center from today and tomorrow, starting at nine o'clock. If you're in the uh, rail and transportation logistics space and you want to see what is being done, uh, you're also likely to network and perhaps expand your business as well. So uh, we'll leave it there with the CEO of the African Rail Industry Association, Ms. Silantlapo. Uh, thank you indeed.